this is a great tool. It's a great opportunity, but don't just turn it over to the machine. Ensure that you have an expert that's both domain expertise, legal expertise, that kind of stuff to recognize that it is probability based. And you don't want to take that chance that you've just violated privacy, violated a law, or you messed up consumers' uh, you know, view of you. I'll chime in real quick here. Uh, I'll, I would suggest that this is the last big chance to get it right. <laughs> so focus. I mean, this is an inflection point right now that we're facing. This is a sea change that we're going through. So this is an excellent chance to learn from all the mistakes of the past, get it right this time, use Gen AI appropriately, mostly internal focus, focused. I mean, I've heard that time and time again. We'll get to a point where it could be externally focused, but decision support, again, doesn't always have to be right. So decision support, whether it's for governance, security, compliance, whatever the case may be, just business analytics, really good stuff, but this is a chance to get it right. So focus right now and get it right. Are you at all worried that organizations you're seeing right now are not getting it right? Um, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that scares me no too. Question. David, David what, 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 what do we go home with? So, so in reflection of, you know, all the things that have cropped up in the conversation today, but also in, in my own personal perspective on, on, on what are the, 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 uh, pitfalls that organizations are facing. I think it's, it's, it is the same thing that we go through every couple of years, which is there's some, some, you know, hypnotizing technology that everybody believes is going to be the be all and end all. And, you know, you can go back and check all your, your Hadoop implementations to make sure that those are still working. <laughs> and I think, and I think the, the real issue here is not that the technology isn't great or that it doesn't do great things or that it's necessary to have it, but rather the, the fundamental issues that, that plague any of these implementations is, is twofold. One, people don't understand uh, that it's all about it's all about the the data. It's all about getting the right information into the system and making sure that there's some controls over over the quality of that information. Number two, it's it's having a systemic view, which says it's not just you know cracking open the, the shrink wrap on the box and then magically you know rainbows are going to pop out. It's it's these are complicated things that need to be integrated into into a, a, an environment, many of of which have been in existence for thirty plus years and they're not going to, you know, they're not going to change on the dime. They're not going to stop for two years to re-architect their systems. And so it's really a question of, can I put the right architecture in place and have a transition strategy and have the right uh, data governance in place and the right, right AI risk governance in place to ensure that, that I don't have to do this. And then three years from now, rip it out because, you know, it has failed and nobody, is ne it, the people who approved it, they've now gone on to become the chief data officers at some other place because they- And we've they, never seen that happen in other types yeah. of large a, uh, IT initiatives. Eve, right. what, what, what do we like? Well, definitely uh, what, I've, what I've taken away from me uh, from today is don't get behind, uh, look at the possibilities of AI and Gen AI and what it, what it can do and as well what it can't do. So don't believe the over promise of, of AI will solve everything and Look at the same time uh, about uh, which uh, expertise you are missing in your organization. And already, if you are not started yet with AI and Gen AI, make sure that you get this expertise in-house so you can already start with the proof of concepts and see what it can bring for your business. And an important thing that we've been discussing over and over today is putting the guardrails in place, not as so secure in, in such a way but making sure that you understand if uh, I put some data into the model, what are the implications? What are the replications? What is the risk when I put this data over there? So making sure that people understand uh, what their actions uh, um, will trigger if they don't pay attention. And always, uh, if you're starting with AI and Gen AI, make it business focused. Don't do it just for the fun of, of the technology, but make sure that you implement something that brings business value and William. So these are all great. Um, but if we want something tangible to, to look at, there is something out there uh, in regards to the risk of using Gen AI. You cannot use Gen AI and LLMs, for that matter, with impunity. Now look at the EU AI Act, and uh, probably coming soon to a, a country near you, but that does say that you are responsible for the use of LLMs through your website, through your vehicles. 
and uh, the information that it gives out, you will be held responsible too. So you're going to have to know something about what those L how those LLMs are brought together, and you should really thoroughly test it according to the models that you want to uh, apply to it. And um, you should probably limit uh, the scope of how you're using these tools uh, with some fine tuning or a small language model or RAG architecture. And I'll just round it out. I think 2024 and 2025 is going to be the tug of war. I think that the promise that AI and the productivity and, and the, quite frankly, the financial pressure for organizations to use generative AI is going to be huge. huge. Right. At the same time, we haven't quite seen them yet, or, or most organizations, but I could, you know, they're, they're, they're here, you just haven't seen them. The risk, the compliance issues out there is going to create an incredible tug of war between these two. And, and I don't think that that's an unsolvable problem. I think you need to create an AI governance program that early on outlays the risks the compliance, the requirements, the ethics, all these different components and sort of build that in. So you not only can use today's application, but you have a repeatable process that you can continue to as new uses of generative account, you don't struggle with this. And, and most important, you're first to market or you're nearly first to market with something that's compliant and defensible um, and safe. And, and you're mm -hmm. confident to be able to do that. And so again, I'll, I'll go back to really thinking about having the right AI governance program early in the process.